Hi there, my name is Michael de Miranda and today a lesson, a short lesson about uh, a shaker, how to make rhythms, how you can play with it. Uh, and in the end I have some uh, independence uh, exercises you can do. Um, the shaker, well let's start with an easy groove and I will show it, I will uh, turn around a little bit so you can see what I'm doing with my hands. Uh, the first groove is just simple, it's just for back, uh, forward and backwards, just that's an easy groove. The sound forwards and sound backwards are as even in uh, volume, they are both even loud. Now you can do this, uh, but you can also play the first note in front, you get back and you go down and then front again. If you play this, it sounds like this. And this gives a little bit different a different groove than this is pretty straight and this there's already coming uh, a different kind of feeling in it. Yes. Um, another thing you can do is play the first uh, stroke is loud, then two softer notes, and then the fourth stroke is loud again and a big movement towards myself. So the first note is a big movement forwards, because I want this note to be a little bit louder. Then two softer notes, and the fourth note is loud again, but this one is a big movement towards myself. It sounds like this. So with the two softer notes, I I stay in front, and uh, the two softer notes. Sometimes you cannot even hear that they are separate strokes. It's sometimes it's just uh, just noise. <laughs> but if you know how to play this, then you uh, if you play it a little bit faster, then you will notice that it gives a different timing, and you are going towards the timing of samba or sometimes when they play those uh, rumba muffles you have the same uh, feeling. I will play it slow and then we'll speed uh, up the tempo a little bit more. So Then you get this feeling like a locomotive, you know. Um, and this is played in, in samba a lot of times, uh, this, this feeling. Well, uh, something about uh, the shaker. I have a shaker and uh, the two sides are softer material. It's more, uh, it's soft plastic or rubber, actually it's rubber. And um, why do I use this uh, shaker? Because the seats inside, normally you hit the front side, back side, and sometimes the bottom, of course. Um, but when you are shaking, a lot of those seats or things which are inside are also coming to this side. And it gives a little bit a different tone. And sometimes this is nice, um, if I, especially when I'm playing li live, it's, for me it's nice. But sometimes when I do recordings, I don't want to have the other sounds on the side um, and that it's nice that you have this rubber be because it dis doesn't give any extra sounds. I can, uh, perhaps I can show you how the, how it works. I hear, here I have a different shaker. This is all aluminium. So the side also is loud and if I shake with this, There is 
you don't hear only the ch -ch, but also something high. I hope my microphones uh, are picking it up <laughs> that you can hear this, but this is why I use this one with uh, the rubber things on the side. Okay, I put it away. Um, now something about uh, independence uh, exercise you can do with, uh, with the shaker. If you play the shaker in your strong hand, I will take another instrument. For this time I will take a kata, but you can use uh, anything else. Uh, you can play a tambourim, you can play uh, on a... Uh, whatever you want. A drum, conga, you can play with your hands. Uh, the nice thing is, if I shake just the first shake, the, the way I pl played the first one, just like this, then the beat is in front. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A nice exercise is to play on every beat that you have in front, you play with the stick or your hand on the other instrument. So you have this, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah? Uh, if you know how to play this, then you can go to the next step and play the afterbeat. So, not when you are going to uh, away from yourself, but when you are coming towards yourself, this side. That's the afterbeat. So the beat is there, but you play here. So you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the next thing. You can, of course, combine this. You can say, well, the first four beats I will play uh, on the beat, and the next four beats I will play the afterbeat, like this. One, two, three, four. You can make combination exercises like this, like this. Um, because if you know how this work works, uh, that you play on the beat or the after beat, you can make other uh, patterns, like for instance you can play the clave and shake. So you can do... like this. Or you can say, if we go to Brazil, you can play a famous uh, uh, tambourine pattern. You can play this too. This. Like this. You can, do, you can play all kinds of uh, rhythms. But it's, I think it's handy that you first play, uh, practice playing on the beat and then the afterbeat, and then you can make combinations on conga drums or bongo, or you can play a ch uh, chikere on one in one hand, or doesn't matter. And with the shaker on the other hand, you can make uh, different combinations and rhythms. Okay, this is all. Uh, so the beginning for shakers, it works a little bit like this. I hope uh, you enjoyed it, and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.